Okay guys, today I'm here to talk about the best top five historic tier two team to use to win games and play now online. Now, you will be surprised who's gonna be or the, the team that's gonna be in the number one spot to use to win games in tier two historic. All right guys? Okay guys, the reason why I put the 2007 Wizards, my top five, because they're a very fun team to use. And you know, a lot of guys in the community like to play zone every time. I feel like 80% of the community plays zone. So this is a good team to expose it because they can shoot the ball, such as Dribble Arenas, you got Kawan Butler, you got Deshaun Stevenson, and you got Anton Jameson, right? So all these guys can shoot a three ball. So most of the guys, what they do is, right? If you like to ISO with Gilbert Arenas, what they're gonna do is they're gonna play zone to stop that. So at least you can shoot a three ball with this team because they very fun to use. And Gilbert Arenas is crazy. He can own um, speed boost glitch from the corner, and you can't really catch up to that because he got quick first step on goal. And not only that, last year he got a base 11, right? That base 11 jump shot is is nice. So I don't know why they changed it to this year. It looks, it's kind of, his jump shot is kind of weird, but you can still hit the shot though, but you got like one how to time it because it's, it's a weird jump shot. So they changed it to that and that's not the good one as I know, but I feel like that jump shot is better for him because he's a scorer at the end of the day. And plus he jumps high with that base 11 from 2K19 and 2K20 days. So I wish they'd bring that back, but I don't think so. But anyway, you got Kamal Butler now. He got a three ball like a 75, but I, I think Gilbert Reed got four general, so I think it's like a 78. So you can still time it and green it. And um, you got Anton Jameson. You got a guy that could post bed technician, and he could, um, he could use fades, he could do a post hooks, and all kinds of stuff that down the post. But nobody don't really post up nowadays anyway, so. Anton Jameson is an all round player. He can shoot threes and post up. But only down for his defense. I don't think he's a defender. The only person who could defend is Deshaun Stevenson because his own ball, I think his own ball at, um, defense is um 85, something like that. But the, the problem is that they don't have no clamp bash. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. They got a good bench too. But sometimes they don't even use their bench that often. So you can use the bench if you want. But at, at the end of the day, it's kind of weird because I don't see nobody use the old seven Wizards. And they're a great team to use. That's why I put them in my top five. Because I don't mind using guys like Gilbert Arenas and Anton Jameson and Kawan Butler. Because Gilbert Arenas, the only downfall is that he's not a defender. So you, you can easily blow by him. But he will kill. He's 6'3". And he will go crazy. So you know how to use him. And you nice with the guards. Then he will fit your style. And I end the game. And my opponent got mad. He just poor cheesed me. So whatever. I don't care. Oh yeah, my top four list is the 2011 Dallas Mavericks. The reason I put them on my top, my top five list, because who know? Like, come on now, y'all know the 2011 Mavs. This is a team that beat the big three of LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh in the Miami Heat, right? So the reason why this team, I, I feel like to me this team is slept on because I don't see nobody use this team. I know y'all tired me saying that, but it's the truth, man. People don't play with these teams because. They don't do their history, they don't do their research, you know what I'm saying? But this team is nice. You got Dirk Nowitzki, you got uh, Jason Terry, you got um, Tyson Chandler, Deshaun Stevenson, you got Kawan Butler, and all these guys can shoot. And I forgot to mention, they got Jason Kidd, and they got um, Sean Marion. Now, the, the one thing about Dirk Nowitzki is that he's so, like, he's OP in the coast in the post. Like, you see that post fade right there, you can't stop that. Especially if you got a mismatch, you gotta abuse with Dirk and Risky. You can't have him out there just chilling. You gotta go work with Dirk and Risky. You see a mismatch. You know? And not only that, they listed him like 7 1 along with Tyson Chandler. Because Tyson Chandler is 7 1 too as well, so they both tall as hell. But anyway, this team is a funny team to use. And if I were y'all, I, I start Jason Taylor over Kid. It's up to y'all. If y'all wanna use Jason Kid to start, go ahead. But I would use Jason Taylor because a lot of guys like to play zone against this team. It's like playing zone just to be playing zone. It is what it is, man. That's why the game is trash now because guys don't want to play zone and make this shit whack. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. But this team is a fun team to use, man. And you always got to post up. If you're not in the post, then you're going to be nice with Dirk Nowitzki. And he got a three ball. 
But the problem is, is that his jump shot is kind of slow, so you gotta know when to shoot with him. You can't just shoot because he don't have a uh, fast release. So you gotta know when to shoot and take it. All right, guys. And another thing, don't sleep on Jason Terry because he he a lights out three point shooter, man. You cannot leave that man open. And not only that, he's fast as hell too. He's fast and he can shoot threes. So and not only that, people forget forgot about how Kamal Butler was on the team, but he was injured throughout the whole year. So I think he only played like five games or 10. So imagine he was dead healthy. They were still one, but they were going crazy with him. So they got weapons, man. And they got a good bench too. You could use Soljakovic. You could use, who else in the bench? I put Charmaine in the bench, so he come on the bench. So you use Charmaine, you got uh, Brandon Hayward. You got, uh, I forgot this guy's name, but he could shoot, he could stretch the floor too as well, just like Dirk. But I think he's bald too, so I don't know his name, but y'all know what I'm talking about. But overall, this is a, a, a good balanced team. The only person who got defense, no, actually two players got that defense. Sean Marion and Deshaun Stevenson. Because I remember last, I think two years ago, he wasn't in the game. So now they got the lights and put him in the game. They make the team more deadly now. So now, don't don't sleep on this team, guys. Use this team wisely. Because this team is very nice to use. All right, guys? And you will win some games with him. I promise you. They had no weakness. If you look at it, that's why they beat the big three. Of LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh. And I bet you they're not laughing now. So make sure y'all try that team out, guys. And this guy quit. Okay, guys. The reason why I put the 2007 Warriors because, look, they got Baron Davis. You got Al Hamilton. You got Steven Jackson. You got Jay Richardson, the high flyer, the dunker. And this team is very fun team to you, especially when do, during that time, 2007, when, it, when they upset the Dallas Mavericks. That's when the Dallas Mavericks was number one seed in the West. And the 2007 Warriors was number eight. So they got all the time around them. So they got, oh, I almost forgot. And they got Martin Ellis. And he just came back this year because last year he wasn't in the game. They don't got the license. So now, now he's in the game. Now this team is lit now. His three balls are 70. Now, the one thing about Baron Davis is that Baron Davis, he got contact finisher, fancy footwork, and all kinds of stuff on goal. He got he got most of goal finishing and badges, right? Goal finishing. Now, you know what's crazy about it though? The shooting badge? He got range extender, but his three balls are 76. He got goal range extender, so that makes him OP. And he played defense? It's crazy. So Baron Davis is a stud, man, and he get contact dunks animations. And so as Jason Richardson, Jason Richardson got like Hall of Fame, contact finisher, fancy footwork, and you know, fin uh, uh, Hall of Fame finisher, things like that. So one thing about Jason Richardson is that not only he could dunk on you, but also he could shoot threes and he's fast on the break. Once he's on the break, you're not catching up to him. And not only that, you go throw a lot to him, he go crazy with the dunks. And he got showtime. Once you have showtime in this current gen, everybody mostly get the badges, right? So everybody get the badges. The only downfall, is is this is is the center position because the center position they only got is one guy, so you got to use him throughout the whole game, which is sad. But you know it is what it is, and he got wind protector on takeover. Now with Steven Jackson, the OG is that he got defense and he can shoot, and he can shoot three. So this team is is is, is well balanced, man. And they got Matt Barnes. I forgot to mention about him. And they got Matt Barnes coming off the bench, but a lot of guys, a couple of guys, is missing from the bench, you know. But anyway, no matter cares. This game don't take <laughs> skill because of um getaway anyway. They still perform at a high level. The reason why I put the old seven cast as my favorite team to win games with because LeBron James is OP. He got a range extender on goal and his three balls are 82. So you, you can make them type of shots. And LeBron James is very fast. I think he, I believe he got a 92 speed. And he got ASS ball control. So that means that you can speed boost. You can um, do the speed boost glitch with LeBron James. That would be so deadly. And he's man strong. He got like an AA strength, something like that. So this man is fast as hell. And on a fast break. Once, once you miss a shot, he is out. You're going to get a lot of dunks with LeBron James. He got pole touch in Hall of Fame. He got content finish in Hall of Fame. Uh, Wells on Hall of Fame. I think he got defensive lead on Hall of Fame, but I'm not sure. But he got interceptor. And he got a quick first step. I'm telling you, this, this, this LeBron James right here is a beast. He's very fast. The reason why he's really fast is because plus they gave him a downhill on goal, which I saw there on the 
on the right corner. And not only that, you got the big Z, you got Drew Gooden, you got um, you got Daniel Gibson, and you got Larry Hughes. Larry Hughes got gold clamps. So make sure if you if you play against one of the best teams, make sure he got the best player. Anybody, it don't matter. Make sure Larry Hughes got the best player. Such as, you know, Damian Litter. So you're gonna need that. And not only that, not only that, Larry Hughes got got some dribble moves as well. And he can shoot. His jump shot's kind of off, but you gotta learn how to shoot with him. It's kind of weird. But he, he'll make them if you leave him open. Now, with Z, he's 7'3", and he go post, post hook, fade, and he got the he got the mid range. You don't have the three ball, but you could try to shoot it if you want to. But anyway, this this LeBron right here is so damn OP. You need somebody like Michael Jordan to stop him on Scottie Pippen on Kawhi Leonard. If you don't have those type of players, I could see him like drop like 50 points on you or 40 points. So he's that guy to win. And you could do a postman technician and the guy quit. Yeah, the 2014 Clippers got to be number one because first of all, they got Chris Paul, they got Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan. You could just throw Lawson all day, all night long, you want to. And they got the best bench. They got Danny Granger. They got Turkoglu. They got Jamal Crawford. They got um, Darren Collinson. They, they're the best all-round team ever. And they got the full lineup. And they got all their license. So they the best team to use. They can play defense. They, they got offense. You can do what you want to do, man. This, this team is a fun team to use. And you can win games with them if you need to rank up. So this is a team to use, guys. Right? So don't forget. Do not sleep on them. They are number one team in the game.